Hi lovelies. So today I thought I would talk about my obsessions because I haven't talked about that in quite some time. Um, this one might not be something that you guys expect from me, but one of my favorite shows, it's actually only on, it finished its second season. So it hasn't been around for a very long time, but it's called Ink Masters and it's a tattoo competition show. And I am obsessed. I do not have one single tattoo on me. I do not have any desire to ever get a tattoo on me um, other than if my parents were to pass away and I was having a too difficult time because I have self-harm in my background so I would probably get some sort of tattoo that inflicted pain on me but had something cool symbolizing afterwards but still iffy about if I think tattoos are okay or not and I'm very OCD, so I would find probably like one dot like out of spot and I would like hate it. But this freaking show I am so obsessed with and I get so into it. Like the people I like, I freak out and the people I don't like, I hate. And I just get super into it. Like when I watch Project One Runway, like usually like the person I like does well. You know, like and then the person I don't really like is like kind of like the weird eccentric designer and I'm like, eh, whatever. But with this show, like, you just never know. The person you like could just like not do well or the person you like could go really far. Also on the lines of that, I still haven't finished the second season so don't tell me but it's going really well. I freaking hate Sarah. I want her to leave so badly. And I really like Jesse. Um, he does like new school stuff, which I don't know. I just like it. I like his designs and stuff. It's kind of cool. But anyways, so uh, those are my like top and bottom. And uh, what is it called? What's the show called though? Shoot, I can't remember the name of the show. Skin Wars is what it's called. And it's a body painting competition. And that's brand new, and that's really cool. And Candy Johnson does a uh, like after show on YouTube, so it's kind of like really neat because um, I love her, and the after show is kind of neat. So they go through and do really neat stuff, and I've actually never really seen body painting like that. So it's kind of like it reminded me a lot of the tattoo show, and but just full body stuff and. Uh, the person I like the most is actually there was like a couple that I liked in the in the top, but I really really didn't like um, oh crap what was her name mystical or unicorn or something so weird and she had the most annoying laugh um, I don't like her and um, I can't think of like there was. I don't, I don't want to say my favorite. My favorite one, so take that. Um, but, oh, say, so other shows that kind of like are similar to my other shows that I watch and that you guys kind of watch too, I found the show called Haven, and I think it's on the Sci Fi channel, but it is so freaking good. It's on Netflix. They have like four seasons on Netflix, or five seasons, I think. Um, it reminds me of a mix of Once Upon a Time and Supernatural, like combined. It's really, really good. The first couple episodes are a little rough, um, but once they get into the season um, and they fix her blonde hair, then it's good. Uh, and then the other show that I've been watching is called um, Persons, uh, Person Unknown, I think. And that's on, I don't know channel that's on, but it's on Netflix. And this is like more of like a sci-fi type thing. So I'm liking it so far, but you know how I am with sci-fi stuff. So that's a little, uh, I don't know. But also, a cute, like if you like just like cute shows that you can put on in the background, kind of like Once Upon a Time and um, just like... You know, shows you don't have to like really like get into and watch a bunch. Um, Warehouse 13, and that's a sci fi show 
that's kind of cool. There are longer episodes are on Netflix, and it's just kind of like funny, but they do uh, like a sci-fi type investigations and finding artifacts that do special things. Um, I think I kind of think it would be, make like a really cool young adult book. But anyways, um, yeah. And then the only thing, other thing that I've been obsessed with is, um, oh, I think I would have to look. Bella, do you have my phone? Oh, here it is. Uh, it's Jana Novanovich's uh, newest book. I think it's 21. Mm, let me look for you guys. Just patiently wait right there. Uh, it is 21. Until you discovered it. It's on Audible. Um, I love Audible and it is my best friend. It has been my best friend. I have like 500 books on audio and it's freaking awesome. So, um, I have a link down below. I think you get, you can get your first book free or something. Like, you don't have to use, like, a code or anything. Like, I think Audible just offers your first book free or something. Um, I remember that's what I did, but I get, like, a monthly thing I'm about. But, I think that with the giveaway, I might give away a free audiobook. So might want to look into it or a possible set up an account or something or um, think of a book that you're interested in I'm like looking over there because I'm looking at the giveaway stuff and I've had it ready for you guys for a while now I just have to get my stuff together today was like a mental health day for me I know that everybody thinks that I just sit around and do nothing because I'm disabled but it's actually exhausting being me and then when there's things on top of it, like emotional things that happen that I was dealing with yesterday, it just was so much. So today I took a little bit of an, um, kind of like a mental health day. <laughs> um, although I feel a headache coming on now, but I'm really glad that like I took the time earlier to just relax, de-plug from everything, and just kind of like catch up on like a few of my favorite shows. like. I watched, um, and I don't know why, but I'm like super self-conscious about this, but I'm obsessed with American Horror Story. It's like so vile and so wrong, but I just love it. But the new story this time is Freak Shows, which I'm actually really interested in and obsessed with. I don't think that's too shocking because I'm really into zombies and stuff, but I'm really into that. Like, I love that really, like, freak show anything. So I actually really am interested in it, but there's freaking clowns in everything now. Like, they're just everywhere. And I am terrified of clowns. So I hate it. Um, but there's a clown in it, and I ended up shutting my eyes for a majority of it I listen to it I have no problem listening to it which is like I don't know that kind of makes me reevaluate my life because like literally like I could hear him like stabbing somebody and I'm fine with that but like looking at a clown no can't do it cannot do it like that seems wrong somehow uh, but that's just an irrational fear I have and I'm going on a hayride in two weeks, week and a half, not, not this weekend, but next weekend, or something like that when Lindsay comes. And last year I punched a clown in the face. And it wasn't a clown, it was a young man dressed up in a clown costume that jumped on the hayride. Like, it's that irrational. But he got right in my face, like with the clown costume. And I'm not used to that. I'm from the north where like hay rides mean you like get on like a hay bale and like just drive out into the middle of nowhere and like maybe someone will run up to the like tractor or something but this was like hardcore like lots of scary things and people actually jumping on and like walking around the thing that we were sitting on and I just involuntarily hit the person and then I put my head down the whole rest of the time because I was so embarrassed but anyway so yeah so I hope that 
uh, the clown's not going to be in a lot of the episodes or else I'm really not going to be able to watch it, which would really suck because it really is one of my, it really is one of my favorite shows. It's so creepy. I don't know. Even from like the very beginning, like last episode, the coven, um, the, um, what's it called? The, like when they do the credits at the very beginning, that, that music terrifies me. Like, every single time I hear it, and I'm just like, oh. but I just am, like, really drawn to it for some reason. I don't know. But, anyways, I hope you guys are a pain free stress-free day, and, um, I'm sending out, we're sending out X double O's, and we hope you're having a good day, and maybe you need to take a mental health day. I'm allowing you to do that. Tell me any obsessions you have down below, or what you've been, like, liking lately whether it's music or a beauty product or anything just what are you obsessed with i'm obsessed with this face right here this face i'm obsessed with it's so freaking cute 